Um, yes, uh, thank you very much to, to the organizers for inviting me to present here um, also a piece of software uh, which uses uh, Microsoft Excel. Uh, it does uh, pretty much the same uh, as uh, MU Kit, but it's uh, I would say it's more basic. Um, it is uh, focused uh, on on the ISO standard 11352, which was already mentioned by Timo, and um, well, it will be changed when uh, ISO 11352 will be revised, which I assume will happen next year. Um, yeah, so uh, as I said, uh, it's based on the, it, it backs up the ISO 11352, which is based on the second edition of Nordtest uh, Technical Report 537. And well, for all those who think, well, this is only for water quality because it's in the title of the standard. Well, it's uh, focused on water quality because it was developed by the ISO Technical Committee 147, which is uh, which deals about water quality. Yeah, the, the Excel tool consists of uh, several um, sheets in Excel. Uh, as I said, it aims to mirror the ISO standard and it provides laboratories with an um, easy to use tool and can also be used as a documentation for the measurement uncertainty estimation to be used to show it to auditors in the accreditation process and so on. So therefore we have uh, also this field signature. So at the end you can you may print it and sign it and then it's uh, everything is available when the audit starts. Yeah, there are some basics on the tool. As I said, it's based on Excel. We have uh, white cells where you can enter data. There are yellow cells that contain all the formulas. There are uh, blue cells here, which are selection boxes where you can select the value and the blue text boxes give some information. The sheets are protected, but not password protected. So uh, all users can make individual adjustments if they think uh, they need adjustments for their uh, special purpose. So it, it can be done, but on the other hand, this means there is no guarantee that afterwards it will just it will work it. There are three main sheets in the tool. There is a, a sheet a total. So let's say that's the cover of the documentation. So here you can uh, describe uh, the measurement. Here is the result of the precision part. Uh, and here's the result of the method and laboratory bias part. In the sheet reproducibility, we see three uh, gray blocks, I would say, for the three different possibilities I will show you in the next slides. And for method and laboratory bias, we see four blocks uh, for the four possibilities described in the, in the ISO 11352. So as I said, the sheet total gives the specification of the measurement and after finalizing everything, the possibility to sign the printed document. And in the lower part of the sheet total, uh, this is the result of reproducibility within laboratory, and this is the part for the bias. Here you will see uh, the total combined standard uncertainty and finally the expanded uncertainty using the K factor that you can enter here. In the, fee, in the sheet reproducibility, uh, we have, as I said, these uh, three different blocks, uh, which di are directly linked to these uh, chapters of the ISO standard. So in the first, it's the control samples covering the whole analytical process. The second one is the, the approach that uh, Timo just uh, uh, explained uh, with having a standard solution plus uh, uh, contribution, uh, repeatability contribution from range of uh, duplicate or multiple multiple measurements. And there is a, a third part for uh, cases where it's not possible to have a stable control sample. Uh, in that case, uh, you can um, enter a 
a, a value from scientific judgment, just an estimate that you do as a as an expert in the field. The sheet method and laboratory bias, we have uh, four different possibilities. The first one, uh, if you use uh, one reference material, the second one, if you are lucky and you have several reference materials. Uh, the third block is for uh, interlaboratory comparisons or proficiency tests. And uh, the last one is if you want to use uh, results from recovery experiments to estimate your bias. Um, so here the first is this formula. So the formulas in this uh, yellow fields are exactly taken from the ISO 11352. And coming back to this issue, which was uh, just uh, discussed about a validation, um, this software also comes without any uh, guarantee and without any validation document, but it's very easy to validate this document. The only thing you have to do is to check whether the formula that are in the yellow uh, cells are the same formulas as in the ISO standard, and that's it. So for several reference materials, we have um, a mean bias plus a, a mean uh, uncertainty of the reference values, which are combined. Uh, in the case where we use uh, proficiency uh, test data or interlaboratory comparison data, uh, an, an average uh, bias is uh, uh, calculated by using the, the square root of, uh, of the root of the mean of squares. And uh, then in this uh, lower part here, there are two possibilities to um, calculate the uncertainties of the assigned value, either using information that is provided by the PT provider. So there is a possibility uh, the program uh, calculates the standard uncertainty from different confidence levels that might have been reported by the PT provider. And on the left side, uh, you can calculate for a consensus mean that is quite often used in proficiency testing. You can calculate the uncertainty directly from the repeat, uh, for, from the reproducibility standard deviation in the PT and the number of uh, values that went into this calculation. Uh, the last point for recovery experiments. Um, uh, here we have the uncertainties of the spiking, which is uh, equivalent, of course, to the uncertainty of the reference value because the spiking is the reference in this case. Uh, so it handles the uncertainty of the concentration of the spiking solution and the uncertainty of the added volume exactly using the, the formula from the ISO standard. I don't go into detail with those formula if you want to see that there i would uh, recommend to have a look into the standard and uh for the the recovery is um um calculated again the bias as uh, the root of the mean of squares and finally these two components the uncertainties of the spiking and an average uh, bias are combined then uh the the file comes with uh, some auxiliary sheets, which is very easy. So this is a very easy sheet. You just enter the data and you get the mean, the standard deviation and the relative standard deviation. Uh, there is a sheet using uh, uh, for, for calculation of a mean range or mean relative range from uh, multiple um, determinations. This is something which has been changed as far as I know in the in the no test technical report. Uh, the newer version of the no test report uses um, a, a pooled standard deviation from standard deviations calculated here. Uh, this is from the old version of the no test uh, report where uh, from a mean range uh, the standard deviation was calculated using just a, a factor. Uh, finally, there is another sheet, uh, an auxiliary sheet called combination. 
This can be used if there is a need to calculate the square root of the sum of squares of several contributions. So if you want to make a, let's say, a very small uncertainty budget. So you can enter some uh, confidence intervals here on different confidence levels. Uh, so you can choose here 1s, uh, 2s, 3s, 95%, 99%, rectangular or triangular, and the, the, the sheet calculates the standard uncertainty from that and finally combines it here. Yes, uh, to, to sum up, the tool one by one reproduces the standard ISO 11352. There are two versions, one to calculate measurement uncertainty in quantity units for the low concentration range, as we already have heard, and one to calculate a relative measurement uncertainty. And both versions are available in German and in English. And for more details on the calculation, please consult the standard. Uh, this tool is quite popular in Germany and recommended by many accreditation auditors. And it's uh, free of charge available from our website that you can find here. Yeah, thank you very much for your attention and I'm happy to answer questions. <laughs>